Ah, this must be the butcher's lad now, Mrs. Jenkins. You, yes, you there. Have you bought the order? No. Oh dear, my cook is awaiting a delivery and there's an awful lot to do before the guests arrive. Been waiting all blooming morning. 20 beef and ale pies to make and no suet. I'm sure you'll manage, Mrs. Jenkins. You always do. You might be the dry dock company manager, Mr. Jones. It don't mean your naval cadets will get fed without a butcher's order. I'm just trying to do my bit for the youngsters of this city. Young men who my good friend Edward Nickel found hanging around on street corners up to no good. Youngsters who just needed guidance and direction. Well, they could have helped me in my kitchen. You are a wonderful cook, Mrs. Jenkins. The party will be a triumph. Now, it's no exaggeration to tell you that there are over a thousand young men in the Cardiff Naval Brigade, fit in mind and body and ready to fall in line for the defence of this great country, should it prove necessary. Eat us out of out and home, I'll be bound. Edward Nicholl put them into smart uniform, organised good robust exercise, plenty of marching in the fresh air, made first-rate citizens of them all. Mr. Jones, are you listening to a word I'm saying? Yes, Mrs. Jenkins, I can assure you I am all ears. I cannot be expected to cook for this party with no help in the kitchen. Calm yourself, Mrs. Jenkins. I am well aware that the appetites of young men are hard to satisfy. My wife has been up all night creating menus with all sorts of delicacies. Well, I'm at the end of my tether. All this work in the scullery made nowhere to be seen. I'm sure you don't need me to remind you, Mrs. Jenkins, that it was Edward Nicholl who founded Nazareth House for the orphans of the parish. And I hear the nuns are doing sterling work over on North Road, many a child being saved from poverty and disease. Dignity and compassion. That's Edward's motto, dignitate et cum passus. Well, there's not much blooming compassion here. I'm worn out, I am. Worked my fingers to the bone cooking for this do. There's 180 officers and young men. I am a justice of the peace, Mrs. Jenkins. I must show others less fortunate than myself that leading a clean and wholesome life leads to reward. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing some reward in my kitchen, Mr. Jones. Here I am, preparing a feast, single-handed, all on my own. And no mention of extra wages. I'm sure you will do Edward Nicholl proud, Mrs. Jenkins, and the young men of the Cardiff Naval Brigade. And you never know what cause he might turn his hand to next. A retirement home for overworked cooks, perhaps? No! It was indeed quite a party. According to an article published on the 26th of September, 1910, in the Evening Express, the young recruits, dressed in their replica British blue jacket uniforms, were complimented on their smart appearance. William Jones, JP, Cardiff docks manager and philanthropist, died three years later in 1913. <laughs> Aged only 47. The Naval Brigade went from strength to strength and would eventually evolve into the modern Sea Cadet movement of today, providing training and adventure for thousands of young men and women.